I'm sure if you have a newborn at home or you've ever handled a newborn and you've ever passed your hand on their scalp, you feel two soft spots. Usually they, they, they're supposed to be four, but these ones are usually closed by the time uh, they are given birth to. However, you find one here, which we call the frontal fontanel, and we have the one at the back here, which we call occipital fontanel. Is there a need for our mothers, our mother-in-laws, our grandmothers to be molding their heads with hot water or warm water just to close these spaces they are they find here are these spaces normal do we need to do anything about it if you want to find out more please continue watching this video this will be educative i promise see ya time wait doctor Hi, welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, um, thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe and tell people about this channel. Um, for the meantime, we're talking about pregnancies and babies. Okay, so what is this fontanel I will initially introduce you to? So fontanels are spaces. It can be found here. Like I said, they are four. One, two, three, four. However, by the time these babies are born, these sites are already closed. So we feel these ones. They're actually here, somewhere here. And then we feel one at the back of our heads. The one at the back of our heads we call occipital fontanel. It usually closes by the time baby is two months old. However, the one in front, that's a... Um, frontal fontanel it usually closes by the time baby is seven months to 18 months so what is the use what are the uses of these fontanels one these fontanels uh, they are just places between the bones huh? me as an adult they are already closed but with babies there are spaces between the bones which help the baby's bones to fuse or come closer together when baby is pushing through the vaginal canal i repeat these bones come together or fuse or even overlap sometimes when babies are coming through our vaginas it helps with childbirth and then again the one that i love so much is that it helps babies brain grow so then stop trying to close them i got and then i appreciate <laughs> I don't know why I like saying see a prayer, but see, yeah, pray, we we'll pray, me pray, yeah, pray at them. Eh? God in his own wisdom knows why. These spaces are to allow the baby's brain grow. So stop, stop, stop. Me, I always tell my patient that if you come to my consulting room and I ask you questions and I find out that you people are more mia a granite, more I report it to the police station. Mm -hmm. outside the country in european countries and american countries you can't do this to a baby that is inhuman it's it's it's, it's it shouldn't be done please in the olden days we didn't have phones we were working to give messages to people this is 2022 all you have to do is take your phone <clears throat> take your phone dial the number and then you'll reach someone you don't even need to send a long message uh, by writing a letter then before you go and post then the person goes to the post office and go for it just take your phone and call the person and that's it or send an email or send a whatsapp or send a message anything so it means we are moving forward science is also moving forward and we've learned that we do not need to try to close it so please if your mother-in-law is at home helping you with your newborn baby or your mother or your grandmother auntie elderly neighbors and they are trying to tell you that you need to be cooking the child's head in so share please i beg of you we do not need that it is not necessary you don't need to do that allow the baby's brain to grow they then as well we use these pieces as signs and symptoms for some diseases example this side of the space is supposed to be a bit just tiny kept inside now if you come and me being a medical doctor i feel it and i feel it's gone way too inside with other signs and symptoms it might give me idea that the baby is dehydrated probably through vomiting a lot or pulling a lot or not feeding enough 
now if you come and the baby's fontanel has bulge we call it bulging fontanel it's so hard and firm and baby has other symptoms like temperature and irritability it gives me an idea that there's something happening it could even be meningitis so with you sitting at home and trying to cook the child's brain and do whatever and what's not you're not helping your child gets sick and you come and things have messed up so please we beg of you do not attach the fountain don't make hot water or warm water and pour it there and you crow tell grandma tell your mother tell your mother-in-law please doctor say and you crow it is not a wound it is normal my baby boss baby as you all know her um her fontanel closed around one year, four months, or even five months. It took that long and was big. But even in the bigness, I knew as a medical doctor that it was normal, so I wasn't bothered. When it comes to Fifi and pH, his is much smaller than that of Bo's baby. So don't let someone come and tell you that, hey, Ubani dear dear, wow, your baby's own is too long. My baby's own is this small, so mine is better. My baby's own closed at uh, 10 months, so my child's own is better, or my child was healthier than yours. No, I repeat, when it comes to the frontal, uh, frontal fontanel, it takes seven months to 18 months for it to close, and that is normal. That is a normal development. So relax, mommy. Relax, daddy. If you're afraid to touch it, do not touch it. If you touch it, you are not harming baby because the membrane and that it is very firm and very thick. God in his own wisdom, the universe in his own wisdom created it and it's beautiful and we are thankful to God. It's protecting the child's brain. And as it's protecting the child's brain, it's helping the child's brain grow beautifully. So please, let's leave it, okay? If you have any questions, you think it has become too peche, you think it's become too hard, you think it's bulging, you think it has gone in too much, that is why the government of Ghana pays people like me to sit in the consult room to listen to your worries. So we are always there. Don't consult on Facebook. Everyone's child is different. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's health condition is different. Do not compare your baby's health to someone's health because we oh, and I will carry you nine months and you had a kid's one. Do not play with your child's health. So please let me know in the comment section below um, if there's any stories you want to share about your child's family or whatever you heard from uh, family member or uh, neighbor. Share with me please in the comment section below. Do not forget to like comment share and please subscribe oh subscribe see you in another video bye have a nice day <laughs> time wait doctor